Hello friends, today I am going to present another CP model of cooling water pipeline cathodic protection. The CP model is based on ICCP system using mixed metal oxide coated titanium canister anodes. This model helps to visualize the pipeline polarization with different anode output voltages during the concept stage, which can be further extended to the secondary or tertiary current distribution models. Therefore, please do not forget to hit like and subscribe our channel Seriously Amazing to get more videos for complex application in coming days. So let's start with the brief introduction to cooling water system. The cooling water system is to provide the necessary cooling duty to heat exchange equipment and rotating equipment to get rid of the air recoverable heat. The cooling water system is considered to be a critical utility system and cooling water pipeline is one of them. Damages to the pipeline due to corrosion leads to local or total loss of cooling water, causes process plant upset with failure of machinery equipment or plant shutdown and even loss of production. Therefore, the, the reliability of the cooling water pipeline as one of the system's key component and have great importance. For the current solution, the sea water pipeline is assumed to be electrically isolated at both ends. The pipeline is 132 meter long with 40 inch diameter. The method is based on the impressed current cathodic protection system where the cooling water pipeline will be electrically connected to an ICCP system and powered by an external power supply. The cooling water pipeline is to be cathodically polarized when the system is energized and the pipeline potential will be measured accordingly. The CP design comprises two numbers mixed metal oxide coated titanium anodes canistered in petroleum coke breeze. The plant soil resistivity is assumed 2500 ohm cm around the pipeline. In this method, different output voltages will be applied via the anodes to optimize the CP potential of the pipeline. This model can be easily extended to secondary current density distribution analysis in order to add the kinetics of the electrode reactions in second stage. Please do not forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get new notifications for the advanced CP modeling of the pipeline in coming days. Let's start with the model builder. We, we are in the model builder now. So we'll go and create a model wizard. Uh, we will choose 3D. Now we need to choose electrochemistry. For this one, we are going to choose primary current distribution. Click on the add button. Now you see primary current distribution is added. So we will select stationary study from here. Click on done. So now we are inside the model builder now. Here is the work worksheet. Now I need to create geometry. So for this pipeline, I'm going to keep SI units, length and meter. Click on the plane geometry. Then we'll select the sketch and we will sketch our targeted pipeline in 2D first and then we will convert it into 3D. Click on the polygon. On the worksheet, click on the designated point as per the layout of the pipeline. So here, first of all, uh, yeah, we will create 2D sketch of the pipeline. as per the plant layout. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a power plant. Uh, this example is taken from one of the power plant. And 
you know that in the power plant we cannot sometime we cannot put straight lines so we need to follow the profile or, or available space in the in the plant and that is what happening in this model as well so it's quite a zigzag kind of pipeline route And the reason for this type of route I have chosen for this example is to show the critical areas and then their protection because it's quite easy to cathodically protect the straight line as compared to the line which is bending in several ways so we should keep the anode at a location where we can get even protection on all the areas on the pipeline surface so this is a 2d sketch of our pipeline i will go back to geometry and create another work plan to convert this 2d pipeline sketch into 3d it is quite simple very simple with console for this we need to select a proper plan at one of the 2d sketch where we will draw one circle of the required diameter and then extend that uh, stretch that circle along the pipeline length which will easily convert our 2D diagram into 3D. So now you see we have selected a point to create a circle. This circle basically will define the diameter of the pipeline. So for this example, I have considered 40 inch diameter pipeline almost a meter so now we are on the right plane now we need to draw a circle here We need to introduce the radius of the circle, which is again the radius of the pipeline. So it is half a meter radius. So we have placed the circle on the, the required edge of the pipeline sketch. Now we will select a sweep function and we will create a sweep of this circle along the pipeline sketch which will convert 2d into 3d so I'm now looking for the sweep yeah it is here so yep we need to select the face to sweep which is in this circle face and then we will stretch along the pipeline route edges to follow so yeah this function will basically stretch the whole circle over the pipeline route So now we will select all the edges of the pipeline created on 2D. So now you see all the all the lines are selected now. 
click on the build selected and then now you see how easily it is now converted into 3d model We will create uh, we will keep create cross-sectional faces so that we know the bending points the next we'll go to the geometry and create anodes first we will take union to make it a one piece or electrically continuous all the way and we will give it a name as a since it is a seawater pipeline so we will keep it as a seawater pipeline now you see here the name is appearing here seawater pipeline now now we'll go back to geometry and yes yeah, select cylinder and we'll create the required sizes of the anodes so the anode i'm going to use canister anode having 800 millimeter diameter and 1.5 meter long Remember that I made the assumption that the canister is filled with petroleum coke breeze so that our mixed metal oxide anode can maintain good electrical connection with the ground and provide maximum output. So we have just created first anode. The anode is located at the pipe inward level which you can see here from the side view. This is a top view. So since uh, we are using a massive size pipeline for this example, which is one meter in dia, so I suspect the one anode will not be enough due to the surface area of the pipeline as well as the pipeline profile which is not straight as well so we we need to have at least two anodes in order to cover all the critical areas to evenly polarize the pipeline so for this i'm going to take array option and uh, which will be a basically a copy the same anode in the another location So now we have created our two ICCP anodes. So let's see if we place anode in this location, how well they are going to polarize and protect the pipeline against corrosion in the soil. So we will make a com contribution for these two cylinders and name them as an anodes. Then later it will be easy for us to to work with them in the. So we need to multi physics. Yep. Select electrolyte and so you can see here the name is given. Electrode. As First canister, of all, we we'll use electrode surface. surface. Now we need to create uh, for our anodes soil around the pipeline. And this is a very Support important tab here uh, to use, as you see here, equilibrium potential a block of 80 so by basically 30 here by 10. we are going to input we need to center it the voltage of the 
anodes so now you see the block is created later pipeline with is this inside this block by the way we are going to play and, and we'll we, set different we voltages and assumption that out from the anodes and we'll see with how the plant soil react to that having 2500 ohm centimeter soil resistivity In the next operation we are going to create a difference which will subtract the pipeline surfaces or pipeline volume from the pipeline and anode volume from the soil box so now our solution knows that we only need to protect these areas they are not soil We are in the material tab now. You need to give soil resistivity. So, for this example, I'm going to use 2500 ohm centimeter soil, which will be 25 ohm meter. And as you know, that the inverse of resistivity is the conductivity. So, that's why I'm going to use 1 divided by 25. So, now we will create primary current distribution methodology and creates an odd within uh, electrode within it so first of all electrode surface and yeah, we will choose canister anode for for this option we will keep external zero equilibrium potential which is a very important tab here basically this tab will define how how much voltage one anode can provide or will provide to the pipeline in order to get sufficient polarization so at the moment i'm going to keep negative two volts so second electrode for that i'm going to use electrode current density for cooling water pipeline or seawater pipeline inward electrode current density so since pipeline is in in the soil so we are going to use 20 milliampere per meter square for this case and this number is quite normal for the buried structures twenty milliampere per meter square Remember that this current density applies to the bare surfaces and we also have another assumption where we we assume that the pipeline is coated and have 20% coating breakdown. So we need to multiply that with the current density. It is done. Now we create the mesh of our geometry. You can see here. The mesh is created. Next, now we will compute the study. So, now you see the solution is almost completed and anodes are active and provided potential to the pipeline. In order to visualize the polarization level of the pipeline I'm going to create 3d plot where we need to give the range of the expected voltage on the pipeline surface so i'm going to keep it from the lowest zero minus 1.5 and the highest minus 0 0.45 in the selection tab I'm going to select the structure
here you have a choice either if you want to only visualize the pipeline you need to select pipeline but in this case i have selected both so that i can see the potential of the anode as well as the potential of the pipeline since pipeline has inward current density so it should be negative Twenty milliampere per meter square multiplied by coating breakdown, which is twenty percent. So now you see here the solution is created with two volts. We can see here the pipeline gets some polarization on this location, but it remains unprotected on the other parts of the pipeline. So we'll go back. We will increase the voltage output from the anodes. We have selected 2.5 volts negative let's compute it yep in the 3d plot you can see here so we are getting good polarization but not enough as i can see from the color chart from the from from the sidebar so areas close to the anode they are well protected but the areas away or especially the corners they are not protected so I'm going back I will increase the voltage at the anode interface will compute it again and now you see here with 3 volts we are getting too much polarization so areas in front of anodes are polarized to 1600 and the areas away from the anode they got 1100 millivolts so 3 volt was too much now i will reduce it to 2.8 volts compute again and let's see you can see here how the current vectors are covering the all areas of the pipeline so with 2.8 volts now you can see here the pipeline is very nicely polarized and we get good readings all around the pipeline profile even on the critical areas especially these corners i will take reading from here as well so when you click here you can see it's 900 millivolts negative 975 on that corner so little bit higher on the areas in front of the anode so i'm going to reduce it little bit so with 2.7 volt you can see here we are still getting good protection but 800 on the farthest point so for this case i'm going to keep 2.8 even though the pipeline is protected with 2.7 but we are getting just protection on the on the edges of the pipeline or on the critical areas which in this case these corners you see at now i will slightly increase the output voltage to 2.75 and we'll see how the profile look like so you see here on these critical areas on the, these corners you are getting 800 and in front of the anodes around 1300 which is little bit above the upper limit so i will go back i will reduce the voltage back to 2.7 volts now let's compute again so we will keep 2.7 volt for this example with 2.7 volt you can see here th these two anodes are capable of providing enough protection to the cooling water pipeline having one meter diameter so with this setting you can see the pipeline is evenly protected at all locations as you saw that uh, cp modeling is quite cost effective as well as time effective technique which enables us to implement the concept design and visualize its effectiveness on the ground 
and also optimize it in order to get the required results without utilizing major resources. In conclusion, this ICCP model shows that the coated cooling water pipeline in a power plant with given dimensions can be protected with two numbers of mixed metal oxide coated titanium anodes with 2.7 volt output. Thanks for watching and hope you like the video. Please do not forget to hit like, subscribe and click on the bell icon button to get notifications for more interesting CP models of the steel structure in near future. Thanks and bye.